Hi, I'm uh, Robert Fabry, author of the Vespasian series. So I started writing um, 11 o'clock, um, February the 8th, 2008, um, on the kitchen table. Um, I'd been thinking about it for some time. Um, for 25 years I'd worked in the, the film business and uh, for the last 16 of those I was what's known as the first assistant director, um, which involves breaking down scripts, scheduling it, and getting the film shot uh, in uh, uh, an efficient, cost-effective way um, so that the director has as much time working on camera as possible. Um, in the last few years, like most things, um, it got um, started getting silly, wanted more for less all the time, and uh, I found myself getting rather grumpy. And I thought, can I still be doing this? You know, standing in a muddy field at three o'clock in the morning and the pissing rain, waiting for the cows to move, in order that you can get um, the next shot. Would I still want to be doing that at 65? And the answer was no. So being totally unemployable. I decided, uh, well, I've got to do something for myself. What can I do? I've all my life read historical fiction. Um, loved it. Um, from uh, the first when I read The Luck of Troy. I can't remember who wrote that wonderful book. Um, when I was eight, that got me hooked. I realized that you could travel back to different times through, uh, through books and I, um, I've always enjoyed the process of being taken, uh, taken out of my time and being given a good story in a different time. I decided, well, that's probably the way forward. So I've never had any writing experience. Last thing I wrote was my degree paper back in 1983, but that wasn't going to stop me. So I just decided I'd uh, have a go at it anyway. So the next process was finding who to write about. I f flirted with a few people and then found the spaceship and I just thought well he travels all over the Roman Empire with the exception of Hispania basically I, and I realized that I could do um, a series of books whereby the backdrop to each story will always be changing it will always change take him to all over the world uh, and it's always gonna be different so I started writing I was very lucky um, I did half of it and it seemed to work. Then I, the bank manager obviously wanted me to go back to work so I, I went and off and did another film and then came back uh, and finished it off. And then I um, was lucky enough to find an agent uh, and then a publisher and it all happened. Um, still can't quite believe it really, it's all very surreal. Doing this to camera is rather surreal. Um, but um, what it means to me now is that after 25 years where you're wondering where the next job's coming from, if there is going to be another job, and um, whilst you're wondering that you can't spend the money that you earned from the last one just in case there isn't another job, or you know, and all that nonsense. Um, but now after 25 years, I finally have control of my life. And if I want to take Wednesday afternoons off, I can. And that is really satisfying.